30 hotkeys that will save you tons of time. Do you spend a lot of time on the computer every day? In today's day and age, who doesn't? Whether it's for work or play, navigating your computer system and the internet can take time. Time you may not have to spare. That's why keyboard shortcuts can be a real lifesaver here. No, I'm not just talking about copy-paste. There are tons more than that, so keep watching to learn the best ones. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. F1. Pressing this button will open the help screen for pretty much every program on your computer. F2. This button lets you rename a file or folder you've already selected. F3. If you already have an application open, pressing F3 will bring up the search feature. F4. By pressing F4 along with the Alt button, you can close an active window. F5. Pressing this button lets you refresh the page you're currently on or the document window you have open. F6. Pressing F6 moves the cursor to the address bar for almost all search engines. F7. Worried about making spelling mistakes? Press F7 to spell check your work in Microsoft Word documents. F8. This button is normally used to open up the boot menu right after you turn the computer on, but before Windows is actually loaded. F9. This button serves two functions. It can send and receive emails in Microsoft Outlook, and it can refresh a document you have open in Microsoft Word. F10. You know how a right-click on your mouse opens up a menu bar pertaining to the application you currently have open? The F10 button does the exact same thing. What a copycat! F11. Want to enter or exit full screen mode online? Press F11 and you're golden! F12. This button opens up the Save As dialog box when working in Microsoft Word. Did you get all that? Great! You better keep up because there are even more awesome keyboard shortcuts for PCs coming your way. Keep in mind that these next shortcuts are specific to Windows 10. And don't worry, we'll get to the Mac shortcuts in just a bit. The most common shortcuts that you may or may not already know about are the ones that use some sort of combination with a control button. Control-Alt-Tab allows you to open up new apps. Control plus C lets you copy selected text to a keyboard. Control plus X lets you cut selected text. It's sort of like copy, only it deletes the original. Control V lets you paste text or images that you've copied or cut. Control plus A allows you to select all the content. Control plus Z serves as an undo function. Control plus Y does the opposite. It lets you redo an action. Control plus D deletes selected text or an image and then moves it to the recycle bin. Control plus Escape drops down the Start menu. Control plus Shift switches up your keyboard layout. Control plus Shift plus Escape opens up the Task Manager. And finally, Control plus F4 closes the window you currently have open. Alright Mac users, now it's your turn! Let's explore some of the shortcuts you can use on your computer. Although some of the names of the keys and combos are a little different, they're mostly quite similar to PC shortcuts. If you're a Mac user, you're probably familiar with the Command plus C shortcut for copying selected text and the Command plus V for paste. But there are even more awesome shortcuts that you might not even have a clue about. To start off, there are a few distinct differences between Mac and PC keyboards. One of the biggest differences is that Mac keyboards don't have a backspace button. They only have a delete button. To get the delete button to remove the character to the right of the cursor like the delete button on a PC does, simply press FN plus delete. Here are some other keyboard shortcuts for Mac. Command plus shift plus delete. This combo simply deletes all the contents of your trash. This is always a good thing to do every once in a while to preserve your computer's storage space. Command plus shift plus H. This handy key combo takes you right to your home folder. 
Command plus Shift plus Q. This is a really quick log off option that can save you time when you have to log out of multiple applications. Command plus Option plus H. This combo will hide all your open windows except for the Finder window. Command plus M. Instead of going up and pressing the yellow button at the top left corner of an open window to minimize it, use this key combo. Command plus Option plus Escape. This is basically a force quit shortcut. You may want to use this when an app isn't responding and you can't get the menu to fall down. Command plus Tab. This is a great shortcut when it comes to switching between apps. After hitting the Command and Tab key together, hold down the Command key as you press the Tab key again to move through the different apps. Shift plus Option. This shortcut is pretty awesome. It lets you fine tune your volume and brightness levels. When you're adjusting your volume or brightness by clicking the designated buttons, hold down Shift plus Option for a whopping 64 levels to choose from instead of the regular 16. Nice! Option plus Apple icon. As you click the Apple icon at the top left of your screen, you'll see a bunch of dots disappear from the menu options, like restart, shut down, and force quit. This means that if you click any of those options without the usual dots following them, you won't be asked to confirm it, allowing you to complete an action in one quick motion. Easy peasy. Command plus spacebar. Looking for something? Instead of clicking on the magnifying glass icon in the menu bar to open up Spotlight, simply press Command and the space bar. Option plus click to toggle Do Not Disturb. Alerts on our computers can be helpful, but a lot of the time they're just annoying. Like with your iPhone, you can choose to enable a Do Not Disturb option. Simply hold down the Option key after clicking the Notification Center button. You'll know that the button has been activated when the notification icon is gray. It'll turn black again when it's off. Ah, finally, some peace and quiet. The Mac shortcuts you just learned can be found in general Mac computers. When it comes to iTunes, Safari, and other apps, there are even more shortcuts. So much info, yet so little time. Perhaps we'll save those for another day. And there you have it. You've just become an expert at over 30 keyboard shortcuts for both PCs and Macs. Now you can navigate through your desired computer systems with ease and in way less time than you're used to. Not to mention the fact that you can now impress all your friends, family, or coworkers with your newly acquired computer magic tricks. Do you know any other handy keyboard shortcuts? Share your expertise in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.